Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're looking at part 2 of the top 10 most unstoppable signature plays in NBA history. Here we go. Up first, we have DeMar DeRozan's iconic mid-range jumper. DeMar has zipped while the rest of the league has zagged. While the rest of the NBA has shifted to James Harden style at the rim or beyond the arc offense to boost their effective field goal percentage, DeRozan has increased his reliance on his no man's land mid-range jumpers. This season, the former USC standout is shooting nearly 60% from 10 feet to the three-point line, and he's striking on 54.4% from the 10 to 16 feet, and 46.6% from 16 feet to the arc. DeRozan is a trickster with the ball in his hands, mixing left and right spin move towards the basket, rocking his defenders on his heels before pulling up for a sweet J, but he doesn't need to do much more because defenders don't expect a player to pull up from a one foot inside the arc and launch in today's NBA. And DeRozan is a launcher. And regardless of how pure his long range two point jumper remains or how frequently he connects from one step inside the three point line, defenders will never surround him because he's also a load in the lane. Overall, DeRozan leads the league in unassisted two pointers with 634 points, more than 100 more than Trey Young, who has 502 unaided points off of two point goals. DeMar DeRozan's mid-range game is legit, and he'll be a force for the Chicago Bulls in the 2022 playoffs. Up next, we have Steph Curry's three-point pull-up. This season, Steph Curry has made 123 off-the-dribble three-point jumpers. How do you stop a player that has a 52.3 field goal percentage on his off-the-bounce long-distance bombs, but also has the pace to handle to blow you if you crowd him beyond the arc and outstanding pass skills if you opt to double-team him? You won't be able to stop Steph Curry. You have no choice but attempt to slow him down and hope that he misses. You've probably heard it all before, but it bears repeating. Steph Curry is the greatest shooter of all time and his gravitational pull from 30 feet from the rim has transformed the game. Curry has already won three championships and he has a good chance of adding a fourth this year. In the number three spot we have Giannis Antetokounmpo's rim attacks. Giannis is a 6 foot 11, 242 pound runaway diesel truck on his way to the rack. Only LeBron James comes close to duplicating his mix of height, speed, strength, and athleticism, and when he even gets a sliver of room on the perimeter, he takes two massive steps through the lane and flattens the rim. Giannis leads the league in field goal percentage on drives at 59.6%, and despite only hitting the rim 12 times per game, he ranks 6th in free throw attempts per game at 3.2. Giannis doesn't do anything special on the perimeter to get around his opponent. He usually takes one big step, gets his hips caught by the guy guarding him, and then when the Greek freak enters the lane, he combines a nice euro step with a superb ball handling to get by the secondary defenders or opposition rim protectors. Giannis's driving game is a force to be reckoned with. In the number two spot, we have Kevin Durant's anywhere on the court jump shot. Kevin Durant leads the league in points per game while averaging 29.3 per game. He's a six foot 10 power forward with the movement of a guard and a seven foot five reach, two inches longer than Giannis for comparison. He's an offensive genius and the best pure bucket getter since Wilt Chamberlain. Durant isn't getting such absurd shooting percentages from teammates James Harden or Kyrie Irving. He attempts 20.3 field goals per game, 11.1 of which are pull-ups two-pointers, and 2.5 of which are pull-up three-pointers. Overall, KD and DeMar DeRozan are tied for second in the NBA in off-the-dribble points at 11.5 per game. Kevin Durant has missed 36 games this season due to a damaged MCL in his left knee. It makes no difference though. His thousands of hours in the gym have resulted in one of the best shooting seasons, if not the best, in NBA history. And finally, in the number one spot, we have the transition attack of LeBron James. LeBron James is the real life embodiment of a 12 year old boy's cartoon depiction of a basketball superhero. When LBJ gets into free space, he propels his massive 250 pound frame toward the rim like a quick point guard. In 2022, LBJ ranks second in the NBA with six transition possessions per game. He averages 1.3 points per attempt, which is absurd when contrasted to Giannis, another amazing athlete who only averages 1.14 per attempt. LeBron James is like a rogue boulder smashing down a mountain. 
How do you stop a one ton boulder of granite and limestone from collapsing end over end? You just can't. You have two options. Foul him at the rim and hope the official swallows the whistle from chasing a sprinting LBJ the length of the court. Or you get lucky and James misses a gimme at the rack. Neither alternative is ideal, but it is for this reason that the King James in transition is the most difficult play to defend in the NBA. Well guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.